Hello students, let's learn how to arrange fractions in the order. For example, 1 by 7, 5 by 7, 2 by 7, 9 by 7, 3 by 7. Here you can see all the denominators are same, which is 7. So we can arrange them in the order very quickly. In the ascending order, or in the descending order. So if I have to arrange these fractions in the ascending order, means increasing order, means smallest to largest. So ascending or increasing means from smallest to largest. So the smallest fraction here is 1 by 7, then it will be 2 by 7. Then it will be 3 by 7. Then 5 by 7. And then 9 by 7. So this is how we can arrange the fractions with the same denominator in ascending order. Or we can arrange them in the descending order. Now let's take an example where the denominator is different. 5 by 21. 3 by 14, 1 by 7, and 9 by 14. Here you can see that the fractions have a different denominators. So we have to make all the denominators same. And to do so, we have to find the LCM. I have already shared a video in the description box where you can learn how to find the LCM. So let's begin here. To find out the LCM of 7, 14 and 21. So 7, 14 and 21 will write like that. Now since 14 I can divide with 2. I will write down here 7 because we can't divide 7 with 2. Then 14 divided by 2 is 7. Then we will get here 21 because 21 also I cannot divide with 2. Then the next number is 3. I write down here 7, I write down here 7, I write down here 7 because if I divide 7 with 3, I cannot divide, I write down the same 7 here. I cannot divide this 7 also, I will write down 7 here, but I can divide 21 with 3 and will get 7, so that's why I have written here 7. Now the number is 7, 1, 1, 1. So we have to reach till 1, so the LCM of 7, 14 and 21 will be 2 into 3 into 7 which is equals to 42. So that means now we have to convert all the denominators into 42. So first we'll write down the original fractions here, 5 by 21, 3 by 14, then 1 by 7, then 9 by 14. So if I have to change 21 to 42, I have to times 21 with 2. I'll write down here 5 into 2. Similarly, I have to change 14 into 42, so I have to multiply this with 3. Now, how you will find out which number I need to multiply here? What you can do? You can divide 42 with 14 and you will see the answer is 3. That means when you will multiply 14 with 3, you will get 42. Similarly, 7 I need to times with 6 and 14 I can times it with 3. So the fraction will be 10 by 42, 9 by 42, 6 by 42 and 27 by 42. Now you can see here all the denominators are same. Now we can arrange these fractions in either ascending order or in descending order. So if I'll arrange these fractions in the ascending order, that means in the increasing order, the smallest would be 6 over 42. 6 over 42, that means this one. Then the next will be 9 over 42. This is 9 over 42. Then 10 over 42. This is 10 over 42. And what is the last fraction? That is 27 over 42. Since we need the answer in the original fraction, so you can figure it out from here that 6 by 42 means 1 by 7. 9 by 42 means 3 by 14. 10 by 42 means 5 by 21 and 27 by 42 means 9 by 14. That is why I have made the 
circle here so that it will be easy for you to figure out what is the original fraction for 6 by 42, 9 by 42, 10 by 42 and 27 by 42. And this is how we can arrange the fractions in the order. Let's take another set of examples. 7 by 25, 2 by 5, 7 by 10, 9 by 50. Now I have to arrange these fractions in the descending order. So for that, first of all, I have to make the denominator same. And for that, we need to calculate the LCM. So I'll calculate here the LCM. I'll write on 5, 10, 25 and 50. Make sure you will write all the numbers of the denominators in the order. So we have to divide it with 2. So 2 fives are 10, 25, 50. If I will divide with 2, I'll get 25, then 5, 1, 1, then 5 and 5. Then again, I will divide it with 5. So here it will be 1, 1 and 1. So the LCM would be is equals to 2 into 5 into 5, which is equals to 50. So that means I have to make all the denominators equals to 50. So for that, I will write down the original fraction first. 2 by 5, 7 by 10, 9 by 50. Now, since it is 25, if I will multiply 25 with 2, I will get 50. I will times 2 with 7 also. Then it's 5. So if I will multiply it with 10, I can get 50. It is 10. If I will multiply it with 5, I will get 50. Then it's already 50. So if you want to keep it like that, it is up to you. If you want to multiply it with 1, you can multiply it with 1. Then 14 by 50, 20 by 50, 35 by 50 and 9 by 50. We said that we have to write the fractions in the descending order means decreasing order means largest to smallest. So the largest fraction over here is 35 by 50, then 20 by 50, then 14 by 50, then 9 by 50. So 35 by 50, the original fraction is 7 by 10. 20 by 50, the original fraction is 2 by 5. 14 by 50, the original fraction is 7 by 25. And 9 by 50, the original fraction is 9 by 50. So this is how we can arrange the fractions in the descending order. So if you will follow all the steps in the similar way, you won't make any mistake and will get full marks in the questions which are related to order the fractions in ascending or descending order. If you like my video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and do not forget to write the comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos.